PlayStation 4 Slim Review After selling over 40 million consoles, Sony is refreshing the PlayStation 4. That starts with the PlayStation 4 Slim, available now for $299, along with the PlayStation VR headset, out next month, and the higher-powered PS4 Pro, which comes out in November. Sony has said that the PlayStation 4 Slim will become the new standard PS4, replacing the Trident Drew model that launched in 2013. So how does it compare? In a vacuum, the PlayStation 4 Slim is a great console. It's smaller, quieter and much more portable than the original PS4. But unless you need a new console right now and are on a strict budget, there's no reason to buy it when the higher-powered PS4 Pro is set to ship in November for $100 more. As its name suggests, the Slim is indeed a more compact version of what came before. The Slim drops over 2 pounds in weight, down to 4.63 pounds from 6.17, and it measures 10.43 by 11.34 by 1.54 inches, versus 10.83 by 12.01 by 2.09 inches on the older model. From the front, the PS4 has always looked like a sandwich cut at a funny angle. Both pieces of bread were an inch tall. That changes with the slim. The bottom piece of bread is 7-8 ths of an inch, and the top is 7-16 ths of an inch. The slim is 25% lighter according to Sony, but it manages not to feel cheap or hollow. All of which is to say that the console is even more portable than its predecessor. Much like the original PlayStation 3 and the PS3 Slim, the PS4 Slim retains the overall shape of the PS4 and drops its glossy black plastic in favor of a textured matte finish. This makes it much less prone to collecting dust, fingerprints and scratches. Meanwhile, sharp corners have given way to softer, rounded ones. It's up front where you'll notice the biggest changes. The touch-sensitive power and eject buttons have been replaced with physical buttons. The power key is physically larger, while the eject button is a cute circle. Both are slightly recessed, but differentiating between them in the dark shouldn't be a problem. The power button also acts as a replacement for the color-changing LED strip that adorned the top of the original PS4. Tin pin size lights glow white when the system is powered on and orange when it's in standby. They turn off completely when the system is powered off. I always thought the launch model strip was a little much, meanwhile, the new power button conveys the same information in a less obnoxious way. I'm a fan. Above those buttons is a slot loading Blu ray drive. The system's two USB 3.0 connections are now spaced roughly 6 inches apart, with one next to the optical drive and the other sitting next to the console's right edge. Along the right side where the meat of the sandwich is, there's a threaded hole halfway between the front and back where you can screw in a stand for setting up the console vertically. Around back are ports for the power cable, PlayStation camera, an HDMI 2.0A socket and an Ethernet jack. If you have an older AV receiver or are using certain types of gaming headphones, the lack of an optical audio port is going to sting quite a bit. When I asked Sony about this emission, a spokesperson said the decision was based on market trends and the needs of the audience we're targeting with the new standard PS4. Basically, Sony is saying that you should upgrade your other AV gear to accommodate its cost-cutting measure. <laughs>